Hello everyone, R9000 here in Space Engineers, and I'm here with a prototype ship called the Ripsaw. Now, I was looking at the rotors, and I was, I was trying, trying to make a device that made spotlights spin around to make a disco machine, but um, the fact is there are much better uses for them, obviously. Now, someone's probably come up with this idea before, so I'm not going to upload this to the workshop or anything. Uh, this is just like a bit of a prototype, bit of a, an experiment. So, as you can see, we've got plenty of thrusters and this big old circular saw on the front. And it does a surprising amount of damage. The saw itself is made out of heavy armour. If you make it out of light armour, it obviously just smashes itself to pieces. So, um, if we get out of here, you can see I've already done some damage to this ship here. I'm going to copy this. Just so we've got the chance to destroy it again if we need to. And I'm going to move it just here. There we go. And then I'm going to get in the ripsaw and see how much damage we can do to it. Now obviously that thing has its inertia dampeners on. If you've ever played Space Engineers before you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, if not, well, get Space Engineers and play it. <laughs> or look up some videos or something. Uh, now, let's turn this saw on. Ripsaw, and there we go. Put the velocity up. Right, so now you can see 30 revolutions per minute. That is spinning around pretty, pretty quickly. Sorry about the jerky view there. Okay, let's go and see if we can do some damage here. Now, obviously, this thing's very slow because although it has quite, quite a few powerful thrusters. Um, it is just mostly heavy armor, so <laughs> it's very heavy. Let's see what happens when we approach this. Hopefully we should see... Nearly there. There we go! It absolutely tears through it. And you can see the saw blade isn't coming off that worse for wear. So... See, we just make this massive hole through it. Let's try and um, let's try and cut the thing in half. You can see it is a little bit mangled. The, uh, the saw blade, it does get like that. But um, if you don't use it too much and you um, you fix it between uses, it should be fine. Uh, you shouldn't have to spend that many steel plates repairing it. Now then, nearly there. Nearly that you can just bash through it, of course, as well, because the whole thing's made of heavy armor. And there we go. We've chopped the thing's head off. <laughs> okay. So I will fix this saw and resume recording in a second. So, in case you're wondering, um, my game crashed uh, because I tabbed out. So, <laughs> Space Engineers sometimes does that if I don't pay it my fullest attention. But, um,. It does mean that we don't have to fix the saw, so hooray! Right, let's let's put another one of those down and let's try getting at the back, and then we'll try one more thing with the red ship over there. See how much damage we can do. So yeah, it, <laughs> it did mean that the whole thing was uh, was fixed automatically for me, so that's nice, even if it was a crash and it was a bit annoying. Uh, now yeah, let's get this saw working again. Where did I put it? It's not that, that's the beacon. There we go. So now let's try chewing through this thicker part at the back. Just see that menacing saw blade spinning around. You can see the, um, some bits of it are still made of light armor. Oh, and there we go. Oh, look at that. Absolutely obliterating the thing. Yeah, you can see some bits of it are still made of light armor because I started building it with light armor and I didn't. I wasn't particularly thinking at the time uh, about the rest of the ship. You can see it does get a little bit battered at the front, um, obviously with the collisions. But I'm sure you know you could make a bigger saw blade and just not have the front contact the uh, coming into contact with the ship. But it's soaring at all. But yeah, I mean obviously. 
it does damage. It is a ship that damages itself while attacking, which isn't the best thing. But if you want some kind of quick and dirty method of doing a lot of damage um, for not too much of a cost, whoa! Then um, I think this is definitely the way to go. So once again, I will pause and fix this, and I will resume in a second. Okay, so here we are back again. Um, I'm going to copy and paste this thing. Uh, which is no mean feat, but there we go. Now the only problem with oh dear, the only problem with copying and pasting the ripsaw is that for some reason in Space Engineers you cannot um, copy like stuff on rotors and like take it along with the copy. So that's a bit annoying, and I hope they fix that at some point along with the underpoweredness of Gatling guns and the overpoweredness of meteorite storms. Or meteor storms, rather, if they're in space. Um, so yeah, I hope they, they fix that because the game's still in early access, still in alpha. So, yeah. So we'll see if we can chop one of these engine pods off with this, I think. Um, I think we might come in from the back here. I mean, we could just probably slice straight through it and do sufficient damage, but we'll see what we can do here. So let's turn the saw blade on. Another thing with this is um, I've equipped it with plenty of gyros, so um, it will, you know, to try and kind of bounce it out. And you can see these large thrusters I put at the front to hopefully counteract the the movement of it when it when it bites into the other ship and as I said it is very very slow you'd probably want some more thrusters on it um, I do have two large reactors in there so it's uh, yeah it's quite a big ship oh you can see it biting into it already and uh, like I said of course if you um, if your sword does break, you can just use the thing as a battering ram. <laughs> um, just make sure you don't have any important components in the front bit. Oh, you can see that buckling under the strain. Oh, is the rotor struggling? I think it is a little bit. But I think we're slowly chewing through. Yes, maybe. Nearly there. And there we go, we've detached it. There we go, look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> and I mean, of course, you can um, you can use this to just kind of dig into important parts of the other ship. So there's a, I think the cockpit's in here, isn't it? So we can just absolutely obliterate that. <laughs> see you later, cockpit. Oh, and those thrusters there. Oh, goodbye. I'll see you later. Bye. Yep. <laughs> so I realised I should probably show you this thing against some smaller ships since uh, we've only attacked large ships so far. So I've copied uh, one of the mining ships from down there and two, uh, two of the, the little fighters and we'll see what happens when the saw comes into contact with them. Oh did I mention this thing has spotlights? Two on the front there for lighting up its prey. So, um, yeah, let's, let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. It just, it just completely decimates them. Actually, that's not really the right word, but, um, yeah. There you have it. Um, obviously, like I said, I won't be putting this on the workshop or anything, because it's probably been done before, but this is just my take on it. This is my little, uh, little prototype. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, um, if you did, uh, a like would be very much appreciated, and a subscription would be nice if you want to see more. So, um, see you later.